Hello and warm welcome to you all. Welcome to the Free Tongue channel, your channel. Well, this is it. This is the long awaited video that you all have been waiting for. So, thank you all for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of you. We have reached over 1,300 subscribers, which is great news, frankly. I wasn't expecting the channel to grow. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Uh, and today we're going to discuss me, your favorite person in the whole world. Just joking. Uh, well, I'll introduce myself and discuss how I acquired all the languages that I'm recording, that you enjoy listening to, and I hope you'll like it. And please, if you're new to this channel, you found it by chance, do subscribe. You're gonna miss out. You don't wanna have this. All right. Um, well, I think you all know my name. My name is Mario Bishara. I'm from Egypt, specifically from the city of Alexandria, which is the best city in the whole of Egypt, believe me. That's it. Cairo? Eh, not so much. Anyways, um, I'm 30 years of age, all right? Um, well, I'm actually a general practitioner, a doctor, physician, if you may. Um, and, well, how did I start this channel? Well, during the pandemic, you know, there wasn't much to do, just work and go back home. So I decided to start the channel. You know, uh, somehow, a while ago, a friend of mine who wanted to learn French, and he had this great book, he actually um, introduced me to the Nature Method books, and he wanted to learn French through it. So I said, okay, maybe I could record the lessons for you in my voice. And he thought it was a good idea, so, but we didn't work on it back then. It was like, I think, maybe eight years ago, something like that. So afterwards, in 2020, I said, all right, I have this time on my hands. What should I do with it? So I started reading the French uh, Nature Method book. And um, people started subscribing and interacting and listening to it. So I said, OK, why not continue then? And I did the English and then the Italian. I was a bit hesitating about the Italian since my Italian isn't that good, to be honest with you. I just, I, I will, I, I will tell you all about when and how I learned all the languages that I recorded a bit later in this video. But anyway, I wasn't really sure that my Italian was good enough to be recorded, and I was leaning more that to, to the languages I'm more proficient in at you know and um uh but anyways lots of lots of you liked it and wanted to listen to it so i said all right i give it a chance anyway and you know the only other recordings out there on youtube are from a and academy um however they only give you some chapters for free and in order to get the rest of them you'll have to pay a subscription. I don't do that. I don't like the idea of doing this. If you're going to give me some money, then thank you very much. I'm very grateful, but it's not necessary to me to get money from you to give you something that is um, basically for free. All right. Um, so uh, anyways, let's go a bit a while back. So how did I learn all those languages? Well, I was lucky enough that my parents got me into um, actually a Catholic French-speaking school. It's not really French as it belonging to the French um, government or the French or, 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 the, or the state of France. No, it's, it's actually a Catholic school. However, the main language there is French. 
So you learn mathematics, science, and other subjects in, in French. Um, uh, all right, uh, at my school, um, they taught us French since um, kindergarten. So uh, I, I had four years of age, I think, when I started, well, when I was acquainted with the French language, till 18. So, till I left the school, basically. And that's how I learned French, basically. Uh, English as well. We started with English at the same school as well. Well, the native, my native tongue is Egyptian Arabic. And I was taught as well Arabic at school, but standard Arabic, of course, which is a bit different. It's, it's more classic um, Arabic than actual spoken one. Uh, but later on, um, well, when I was 18, um, I had this opportunity to study medicine in Georgia, the country, not the state of the USA, the country in Caucasus. And it was a lovely experience. I spent there seven years of my life. That's how I learned Georgian. Um, it's a beautiful language, a bit difficult, but you know, all works through comprehensible input. So when you understand the message, you acquire the language. And it was great. Uh, there I I was learning medicine and I learned Georgian as well. And then in um, 2016, I, um, well, a bit earlier, 2015, I started learning German, but with a very archaic method. It, it was very horrible. Teach yourself German, a very old book. It wasn't bad, but it was based on, you know, teaching you grammatical structures and how you learn them and then put the words next to each other and through translation of words from English. It wasn't really excellent, but, you know, I did what I, what I knew back then. Um, that's, I, I thought, well, that's how I learned French at school, so why not do the same with German or other languages? Well, but it was a tedious method. Uh, it, I didn't advance much with it <laughs> but then later on you know I started experimenting with different um, language tools like Duolingo um, then I went to Germany in 2016 I started interacting with people in German I stayed there for a whole month during my summer vacation uh, it was a great experience as well um, and I bought myself a German book as well. It was good. Then I came back and um, I started watching those YouTube videos of Stephen Crash and other polyglots like Steve Kaufman and uh, a very good channel that actually introduced me to all of the, to all this comprehensible input method um, thingy. Um, what I have learned today language, a great language, it, 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 it mostly, well, the YouTuber that started is mostly interested in fitness, diet, and um, other medical issues. Um, however, he um, also talks about languages since he is also a multilinguist, uh, multilingual. Um, I think he, he is an American who lives in Japan. In Japan. So please go and visit his channel, it's quite good. Um, so um, I started watching and then when well, I, I I was introduced to Link Q I think it's called the uh, Steve Kaufman Steve Kaufman um, app or website whatever you want to call it however it was um, well it, it wasn't for free <laughs> which was a bit you know uh, I didn't have money. I don't have money to waste on apps, really. Life isn't that easy. Uh, I so I started looking for alternatives, and um, a friend of mine introduced me first to um, learning language with texts. It's similar to Link you however, it's a one-man job, so it's it's a bit not very user-friendly. It has its, its issues. It's a great idea. I wish they keep. I wish they keep working on it. But um, it's not that good. Just to tell you. Um, 
However, I found on my own then later on um, ReadLang. So ReadLang is this website that it's a reader basically. I'll, I'll make a special video on other tools, how you could learn other languages. I think I used ReadLang in some of my videos. I, I put the text of the video I recorded there so that you could just click on the words and see what they mean in English or your mother tongue. Um, and so I started learning German and reading German actually using ReadLang around 2017, maybe 18, not so sure about it. And it's a great tool. It gives you so you could translate even sentences. However, you have a limited number of sentences um, um, when you're not paying, when you're just using the free mode. Um, so, um, and you, but however, you have a limited number of words to translate. So you could just click on the word; it will show you the meaning in your native tongue or English, if you like the language that you chose. Um, and it even makes flashcards for all the words that you have studied with the context. So it shows you the sentence where you first saw this word, and then you guess it. And when you guess it, you get a score, and it, it has it, it's a bit of a game similar since um, the um, developer of this website, Steve Ridout, he actually worked on the Duolingo app for a while, and he made some stories I think for them or program for them, um, but I think they left them recently, maybe two years ago. Anyway, so. Um, that's how I learned German and um, and also I want to I want basically maybe later on in my you know medical career practice medicine in a German speaking nation perhaps sometime I'm not really sure when that will happen but you know could happen um, so and then um, so that's how I learned French English German, Georgian, uh, coming to it Italian. So um, that's actually a funny story. Um, a friend of mine, well, a colleague at the same university, also Egyptian, but she was from Cairo. Um, we were studying together in, in Georgia, and she told me, "Well, Mario, I will. I like Italian. I want to go to Italy. Um, you are good with languages. Why don't you learn Italian with me, just to motivate each other?" sort of I said all right well I, I I think I had enough free time since I was basically done with my studies I was just waiting for my certificate from the diploma uh, for my degree and so I started learning Italian using all the methods that I mentioned I used nature method books I used Asimil I used uh, read Lang all of them basically and I even used a podcast called Veleno. Uh, <laughs> it's very interesting, but very dark well, podcast about Satanists, children, pedophilia, and weird things that happened in Italy in the 1990s. Anyways, uh, I don't want to digress. <laughs> um, anyways, I learned with her Italian for two months. We started learning together. We started talking to each other in Italian. And it was really fun. Um, and then, I think in 2019, April, I came back to Egypt and I started um, the process of getting my degree recognized. Allow me to drink a coffee, sip, thank you. Excellent coffee. Please, my Brazilian followers, please do send me some Brazilian coffee, otherwise I will stop recording videos on this channel forever <laughs> just joking <laughs> anyways um, um, so I started the process of getting my degree recognized in Egypt to practice medicine where I'm living now and it was a tedious process to the least of it however in uh, you know 2020 uh, when I was working as an intern at the hospital, the university hospital. 
the pandemic happened. So I said, well, pfft, nothing much to do other than working, going back home. So I started the channel, and as I said earlier, everything was working out. It was not increasing, you know, <laughs> the watch time wasn't increasing much. I sort of gave up on it for a while, but then suddenly started, you know, the statistics started showing me that, well, more people were watching it basically. So I said, all right, yes, keep doing it. So I kept doing it and we reached 1,300 subscribers. Thanks to you. Um, and, um, it has been great since. Of course, I'm not really producing much videos nowadays. It's a bit difficult. <laughs> I don't have that much time. But I, I, I'm, I promise you, um, I'll fix that. Uh, I'll start creating a schedule to be uh, more consistent in getting videos out there. Uh, so, what else? Mm, what is left to say? Yeah, I think that's it. I think I've covered all of it. Um, but please, um, if you, if I missed something, please let me know in the comments and please let me know if you like the vlogs, we could increase them, you know, I could make more vlogs if that interests you. Um, and, um, if I've missed something, please let me know and let me know what, uh, what other books you would like to hear to listen to. Um, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day or a good night. Signing out.